Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumil Manik. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a topic from the chapter of diseases and nerves and muscles that is related to the subject oral pathology. So the topic is phenopalatine neuralgia. Now this phenopalatine neuralgia is also considered as a pain syndrome somewhat like trigeminal neuralgia even that is a pain syndrome right so even this phenopalatine neuralgia is considered to be a pain syndrome but it is not as commonly seen as trigeminal neuralgia and it is also more painful than the trigeminal neuralgia it is considered as the most painful syndrome discovered till now also known as there are various names of phenopalatine neuralgia like lower half headache now why it is considered lower half headache because it is associated with the lower half of the head region so lower half headache sludder's headache sludder's headache because it was first described by sludder's and he named it as sphenopalatine neuralgia or it was also named by his name that is sludder's headache next vidian now neuralgia vidian now neuralgia ka kya hai after sludder there was one more scientist that is vial who described the association or he described the same condition same clinical features and same signs which were associated with VDN now I hope so you guys are aware of VDN now now VDN now is known as now to pterygoid canal which arises from the greater petrosal and deep petrosal nerves when both of these nerves combine they form and now to pterygoid canal which enters the pterygoid canal which is associated again with spinopalatine ganglion i have made a short video in which i have explained all things about spinopalatine ganglion if you guys want additional knowledge regarding that ganglion you can watch that video i'll provide the link in the description box so vidian now neuralgia so it was related to vidian now so he described the name as vidian now neuralgia next name is horton syndrome then we have cluster headache this is the famous name they also call it as cluster Headache. Next, you have histamine cephalgia and periodic migrainous neuralgia. Abhi histamine or periodic migrainous neuralgia or histamine cephalgia, kyu kehte? we'll see in the later part of video. See, these are the various names of sphenopalate and ganglion. Any of the names can be asked in the question in examination. First, again, we'll revise that is lower half headache, sludder's headache, median now neuralgia, Horton syndrome, cluster headache. Histamine cephalgia, periodic migrainous neuralgia. Right, I hope so. This is clear. Next, moving on to the discussion of sphenopalatine neuralgia. So, it is not in common but most painful syndrome known to humans till now. Okay, it is not so common as I already told you, but it is the painful syndrome known to humans till now. What is the etiology or what is the reason for the occurrence of ganglion? exact etiology or the pathophysiology or still not known properly but maybe it is considered that it would be due to abnormal hypothalamic function the hypothalamus is not functioning properly or due to abnormal release of histamine from the mast cells now histamine and it is an inflammatory mediator which is released from mast cells so due to these two reasons it may be considered that it can lead to sphenomalatine Neuralgia. Kya kya do reason hai? Abnormal hypothalamic function and second is your abnormal release of histamine from the muscles. Pain is usually originated at pericarotid or cavernous sinus component. Ya to pericarotid region matlab carotid ke aspas ya cavernous sinus ke aspas the pain is usually going to be originated. Origin of pain kya rahega? Near the pericarotid or cavernous sinus component. In some cases there is genetic predisposition seen. Matlab, jo bhi sphenopalatine neuralgia ke cases hai, uske several members of the family are also facing this problem. So some cases are showing genetic predisposition to this condition. Next, moving on to the clinical features of sphenopalatine neuralgia. It is quite simple. Unilateral paroxysm of intense pain. Paroxysm means sudden uh, starting or sudden onset of pain in unilateral region. Unilateral paroxysm of pain means sudden onset of pain or intense pain you can say in which which region it will be eyes, maxilla, ear, mastoid, base of the nose and 
zygoma will revise this once again see eyes zygoma ear mastoid then base of the nose and maxillary region and sometimes even the pain is uh, referred to the occipital रीजन तो क्या हुआ यूनिलैटरल पैरोक्सिसम ऑफ इंटेंस पेन यूनिलैटरल मतलब कोई भी एक तरफ सडनली पेन ऑनसेट होगा पेन ऑनसेट होगा इन विच रीजन इट विल बी बिहाइंड द ऑर्बिट दैट मीन्स इन द आईज देन यू हैव जाइकोमा यू हैव इयर्स मैस्टॉइड ऑसिपिटल बेज ऑफ द नोज एंड मैगजिला राइट रैपिड ऑनसेट ऑफ पेन एज एट सेट पेन सडनली अवेकन इट विल बी सडनली अवेकन सो रैपिड ऑनसेट ऑफ पेन इट विल परसिस्ट फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स टू थ्री आज इट इज नॉट श्योर की कितनी देर तक रहेगा पर मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस इट इज सीन बिटवीन फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स टू थ्री आवर्स रैपिड ऑनसेट ऑफ पेन विच इज गोइंग टू परसिस्ट फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स टू थ्री आवर्स एंड इट इज गोइंग टू डिस रैपिडली जैसे ही रैपिडली वो आया था और सडनली आया था उसी प्रकार से डिसअपियर भी हो जाएगा ऑनसेट पेन रैपिडली राइट नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू द ट्रिगर जोन ऑफ स्पिनोपेलेट एंड न्यूरोलजिया सो एस देर आर ट्रिगर जोन प्रेजेंट इन ट्राइजेमा एंड एंड न्यूरोलजिया देर आर नो ट्रिगर जोन प्रेजेंट इन स्पिनोपेलेट एंड न्यूरोलजिया इट इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर्ड एज अलार्म क्लॉक हेडिंग अलार्म क्लॉक का काम क्या होता है अलार्म क्लॉक का काम होता है कि रोज एक ही टाइम पे आपको रिंग देना की यू नीड टू वेक अप राइट और यू नीड टू हैव ए रिमाइंडर फॉर एनी थिंग अलार्म क्लॉक इज यूजफुल राइट सो अलार्म क्लॉक हेड एक क्या होगा कि हर रोज एक ही टाइम पे द हेड एक इज गोइंग टू बिगिन मतलब अगर उसको इवनिंग में हेड हो रहा है तो ऑल द टाइम इवनिंग के टाइम पे उसको हेड होगा सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अलार्म क्लॉक हेड सो यू मे बी आज इन द एम सी क्यूज और इन वाइवास की अलार्म क्लॉक हेड एक इज एसोसिएटेड विथ विच कंडीशन सो इट इज फिनो पैलेटाइन न्यूरल राइट नेक्स्ट वेरियस अदर सिम्टम्स लाइक स्नीजिंग स्वेलिंग ऑफ नेजल म्यूकोजा नेजल डिस्चार्ज एपीफोरा मतलब एपीफोरा मतलब एक्सेसिव फ्लोइंग ऑफ द टीयर्स फ्रॉम आईज जो नॉर्मल कंडीशन होती है वाइल क्राइंग दैट इज नॉर्मल फ्लोइंग ऑफ टीयर्स बट एपीफोरा इज वॉटर आईज और एक्सेसिव फ्लो ऑफ टीयर्स फ्रॉम द आईज वॉटरिंग ऑफ आईज एज आई सेड और ब्लड शॉर्ट आई सो दीज आर द वेरियस अदर सिम्टम्स एसोसिएटेड विद द पैरोक्सिस्मल पेन सो स्नीजिंग स्वेलिंग ऑफ नेजल म्यूकोजा नेजल डिस्चार्ज एपीफोरा वॉटरिंग ऑफ आईज एंड ब्लड शॉर्ट आई लास्टली ऑल्कोहल स्मोकिंग कोकीन एंड इमोशनल स्ट्रेस आर एसोसिएटेड विथ ट्रिगरिंग और प्री डिस्पोजिंग और प्रेसिपिटेटिंग फैक्टर्स फॉर स्पिनोपेलेट एंड न्यूरल इन सम केसेज इन सम केसेज इट इज सीन दैट एल्कोहल स्मोकिंग कोकीन और इमोशनल स्ट्रेस इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर पेन इन स्पिनोपेलेट एंड न्यूरल और इट इज गोइंग टू प्रेसिपिटेट द पेन So lastly discussing about the treatment options for spinopalatine neuralgia various treatment options like cocainization or alcohol injection can be given in the ganglion which is the ganglion associated spinopalatine ganglion other than that resection of ganglion is also carried out in some cases which have shown satisfactory results and also correction of septal defects and all above all these we have two drug combinations which can be given first one is you can only provide ergotamine which will reduce the onset of painful symptoms right so ergotamine if ergotamine is not helpful then you can go with combination of ergotamine with methy surgide right this is going to definitely reduce your pain so this is all about the treatment of spinopalatine neuralgia i hope you guys have understood all the points related to this we'll just highlight some of the points which you need to keep in mind firstly is other names other than that you need to remember the etiology that is abnormal hypothalamic function or abnormal release of histamine from the mast cells right then you have various sites which are affected by this spinopalatine neuralgia i also forgot to tell you about the most common age it is usually seen in any age but most commonly or most of the patients are below 40 years of age and men are more commonly affected compared to females the male to female ratio is 5 is to 1 so 5 times more men are affected compared to females right you need to remember this guide the pain is going to be rapid onset no trigger zone is present alarm clock headache phenomena alarm clock headache phenomena is always associated with spinopalatine neuralgia 
precipitating factors you need to remember alcohol smoking cocaine and emotional stress and lastly the treatment options for this condition so this is all about phenylalanine neuralgia if you guys have any doubt regarding this topic then please let us know in the comment section we will be more than happy to help you guys if you enjoyed the video then please like share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get regular updates of next topics which we upload thank you